Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together today. What a wonderful and joyous occasion. And uh, as the snow falls a little bit here, and as we, uh, as we gather in this beautiful home, we are so grateful for your provision for us, for a wonderful uh, growing season and a wonderful harvest. And now as we look to the winter, where um, the land uh, takes rest, and as we look to um, as we look to how you prepare us for for growth and renewal, um, also by giving us times of rest, we just thank you. We thank you that we can take a moment out of our busy lives, um, and, and not just a moment, but a, a symbolic commitment. To a whole life of living in a way that honors and glorifies you and growing in you. We thank you for this time. Father, I just pray that you will be with us as we, uh, as we celebrate this baptism and that you will guide us for many years to come. And particularly, O oh God, that you would guide Ada in her glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, it's good to be here. It's excellent to have you uh, here to witness, and you are going to participate a little bit later on when we ask you to support Steve and Lindsay in uh, raising their children as they ought to grow. Uh, we'll ask you to support, and you can say we do God helping us at that time. But in the meantime, we want to talk a little bit about what baptism is and what it's not. And uh, so we say these words. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the sacrament of baptism reminds us and assures us that we share in the death and resurrection of Christ and are incorporated into Christ's holy church. Baptism proclaims the faith for, of the church. The water of baptism is a sign and seal of God's promise to cleanse us from sin, renew us, and reconcile all things to himself in Christ. In baptism, God's people are promised the gift of the Holy Spirit as a pledge of this reconciliation. And the same Spirit binds us to each other and joins us to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. Now, boys, I have a question for you. When's the last time you had a bath or a shower? Um, um, yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday? Yesterday. 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 The day before. <laughs> no, I was on Friday. Friday. Okay. I was on Friday. Do you, think, was Friday. do you think your mom and dad would be really happy if you went for two weeks without a bath? No. Or a shower? No. I went for a week with oh, one pair no. of socks. <laughs> <laughs> one pair of socks for a week. You gross. I went. My, my son, I don't know what it is about him, but he has something that comes out of his body that makes his socks crusty. <laughs> Even after like a day, it's so gross. He needs to... He needs to have a bath or a shower every once in a while to clean him off, right? And so we all do, right? Yeah. Do you do bad things? No. No, you never do bad things? No. Okay. Everybody does. Let's, let me ask your parents. Do they do bad things? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Right? Being, doing bad things is kind of like getting dirty. Right? Yeah. And you need to get cleaned from it. In baptism, we use water to symbolize how Jesus cleans us from our bad things. Yeah? You hear me, Isaac? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? And so that's why we're doing baptism, because... Your mom and dad, and your grandparents, and your great-grandparents, they all want you 
to grow up in the love of Jesus so that you can live lives that are clean because of him. So, Steve and Lindsay, since you have presented Ada, Willa, Joe for baptism, we need to ask you the following questions before God and his people. So, let me see. Do you promise to instruct this child, and you've already promised to do that with the others, but do you promise to instruct Ada in the truth of God's word, in the way of salvation through Jesus Christ, to pray for her, to teach her, to teach her to pray, and to train her in Christ's way by your example, through worship, and the nurture of the church? Your answer? We do. Wonderful. You can do the God helping <laughs> We know what you meant. I didn't Almost. give you a printout either. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent. Now, then I have a question for the congregation. Do you promise, congregation, and you all are the congregation, do you promise to love, encourage, and support these brothers and sisters, these your children and grandchildren, do you promise to love and support them as they raise their children in the way of God? Do you promise to support them by the, as they teach the gospel of God's love and as you, by being an example of Christian faith and character, and by giving the strong support of God's family in fellowship, prayer, and service. Your answer? We do God help us. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, normally what we do here is we recite the Apostles' Creed to remind us of some of the things that we believe and hold so strongly. And so... I am going to recite the Apostles' Creed, and if you remember the words, you can certainly join in with me. So, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. He ascended the third day. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection, resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O holy and gracious God, for the gift of water. In the beginning of creation, your spirit moved over the waters. In the waters of the flood, you destroyed evil. You led children, the children of Israel through the sea into the freedom of the promised land. In the river Jordan, John baptized our Lord, and your spirit anointed him. By his death and resurrection, Jesus Christ, the living water, forgives us, frees us from sin and death, and opens the way to life everlasting. We thank you, O oh God, for the gift of baptism. In this water... You confirm to us that we are buried with Christ in his death and raised to share in his resurrection, are being renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit, and are united to Christ in mission. Send your Holy Spirit, we pray, upon Ada Willa Joe, who will be baptized here today, that this water may be a spring gushing up to eternal life. Wash away her sin, raise her to new life, and graft her into the body of Christ. 
we pray. In Jesus, all of And bless you. All right, so we're going to baptize Ada now, so I'll invite um, you guys to shuffle around however you need to so that uh, the water can happen. Good, excellent. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. All right, Steve, so I'm going to ask you to do the water as I say the, the words, and you can start, like, basically right away. I baptize you, Ada Willa Joe, in the name of the Father, and Ooh. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yay. <laughs> Here is our declaration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the only king and head of the church, Ada Willard Joe, is now received into the membership of the Holy Catholic Church, engaged to confess Christ and to be God's faithful servant until life's end. Amen. Good girl. Amen. And, of course, we don't want you to forget this day, absolutely. And so we have uh, a couple of gifts, thankfully and wonderfully arranged by various people, and that is excellent. And so here is a certificate of baptism for Ada, so that she can remember, and of course she needs somewhere to put it, and so we have here, um, which you know, a beautiful um, faith journey box, which was made uh, by a member of the church, as you know, and in it will go, hopefully, hopefully not only will her baptism certificate go in here, but other things to mark her faith journey on your life. And it says on it says on here, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Oh, that is so beautiful. Yes. And of course the answer is no one. We need to be afraid of no one. And there's beautiful funnies on the front. Oh, so that is excellent and absolutely gorgeous. So that is for you guys as well. Mom, is that Ada's special box? Yes, that is Ada's special box. And so thank you all for coming, and thank you, congregation, wherever you are, for supporting um, for supporting this beautiful family, and uh, just praise God. Thank you.